Okay, so I'm going to explain how we're going to do our geology scavenger hunt. Each scholar is going to have a copy of this slides presentation in their Google Drive when you click your assignment. The instructions for this assignment are to answer each clue to figure out the location of the scavenger hunt and then fill out the different questions on the slide before we move on to the next question. Okay, so here's our example. The clue for this says, this national park is in Arizona, but was shaped by the Colorado River. Looking at this clue, I'm going to focus on the main parts, Colorado River, National Park, Arizona. And I'm going to Google that. National Park, Arizona, Colorado River. Well, there's a bunch of different options over here. Okay, let's scroll and look at them. Big Bend of the Colorado State Recreation Area. That isn't a national park, or maybe it is, but it says Lachlan NV. NV is Nevada, so that can't be it. Grand Canyon National Park. Arizona, okay? Lake Mead National Recreation Area, Nevada again. Okay, so it looks like Grand Canyon National Park is my best bet, so why don't I Google that? Grand Canyon National Park. Okay, and let me read the quick description here. Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona is home to the to much of the immense Grand Canyon, with its layered bands of red rock revealing millions of years of geological history. Viewpoints include Mather Point, Yavapai Observation Station, and architect Mary Coulter's Lookout Studio and her Desert View Watchtower. Lippin Point, with wide views of the canyon and Colorado River, is popular, especially at sunrise and sunset. Okay. So I think I know my answer to this question, and I'm going to fill it in. The answer is going to be Grand Canyon National Park. Okay, now let's look at these little questions. Rock types, location, how landform was formed. Okay, well location is easy. I can start by doing Arizona, then the country is USA. All right, what are the rock types? Let's Google it. Rock type at Grand Canyon. Sedimentary rocks, easy. Okay, let's add that in. Okay, and then how landform was formed. How was the Grand Canyon formed? The Grand Canyon is a deep, large deep river valley in northeastern Arizona. The main cause of the erosion that formed the Grand Canyon was water. Most scientists agree that it was formed when the Colorado started carving through layers of volcanic rock and sediment between five and six million years ago. Awesome. So let's just summarize that down here. The Grand Canyon was formed by the Colorado River eroding sediments over time. Easy? All right, this slide looks pretty boring and I'd like to see what each place looks like. So let's figure out how to add a picture to this. What I'm going to do is click on background, change background, and then where it says image, I'm going to click choose image. 
There are two ways that you can choose your photo. You can either use the Google image search and look up Grand Canyon National Park and choose a photo that you think best represents our location. Or if you want a regular Google, because this does give you different photos, Grand Canyon National Park. Okay, you can look and find your image. I think I like this one. Okay, and if you want to use one that you find on Google Images versus the Google Image Search here, you're going to look at your picture, you're going to left click and click copy image address. Then you're going to go back to buy URL, copy and paste that, and say insert image, and then push done. Boom, you have your answers. Okay, so this is our example slide, and you're going to do the same exact process in each of the following ones. Let's do another one together. This one you'll actually do on your own, but you can follow along with me and do this onto your slide if you want a little extra help. Okay, so the clue says, geology reaches a new peak at the tallest mountain in the world. Okay, um, what is the tallest mountain in the world? Okay, mountains by elevation. Okay, I can look at all of these, and look at the elevations, or I could just look at the articles and it says, highest mountain in the world, tallest mountain, Mount Everest. Okay, that seems right, because I know that already. So I am going to go oops, back to my thing and put my answer in. If my thing will click. Okay, Mount Everest. All right, let's figure out the other answers. Types of rock at Mount Everest. Or what type of rock is Mount Everest? Okay, so it says sedimentary rock, limestone, marble, shale, and peelite. Below them are older rocks, including granite, pegamite, gneiss, and a metamorphic rock. So really, it's all three types, even though it just says sedimentary up here. Um, let's read some more articles about it. Okay, mm -hmm. geology of Mount Everest. Let's X out that ad choice. Okay, Himalayan range top by blah, blah blah is the tallest mountain in the world. Largest, most distinct geographic features. I'm going to keep skimming this so that I can figure out what type of rock I am looking for. Oh, but there is a paragraph about the formation, and we know that, that is a question on our scavenger hunt as well. Okay, so let's fill in our answer for now. Um, sedimentary, igneous, metamorphic. Okay, and then it's located in the Himalayas which we can look up exactly where that is in a little bit. And then let's write about how this landform was formed. Okay, 
So geologically speaking, the Himalayas and Mount Everest are relatively young. Huh. They began forming over 65 million years ago when two of the Earth's great crustal plates, okay, so crust plates, the Eurasian plate and the Indo-Australian plate, collided. The Indian subcontinent moved northeastward, crashing into Asia, folding and pushing the plate boundaries until the Himalayas were eventually over five miles tall. The Indian plate moving forward about 1.7 inches per year is slowly pushed under or subducted by the Eurasian plate, which obstinately refuses to move. As a result, the Himalayas and the Tibetan plateau continue to rise about 5 to 10 millimeters each year. Whoa, so Mount Everest is growing taller. Geologists estimate that India will continue moving northward for almost a thousand miles over the next 10 million years. Whoa. All right, let's summarize that. So I got that the Indo-Australian plate is converging with the Eurasian plate Remember, converge means when two plates crash directly into each other. Oops, I spelled Eurasian wrong. Okay, with the Eurasian plate, and then what else about it? Folding and pushing plate boundaries until the mountains were formed. together until mountains were formed. Cool. And then remember, we're going to put our picture. We can look a little bit more about the types of rock though. Okay, it seems like. So the lighter rock, such as limestone and sandstone, and sandstone I know is a sedimentary rock. Gets pushed up. And then sedimentary layers, blah, blah, blah. Below them are older rocks, including granite, which I know is igneous, and gneiss, which is metamorphic. So let's go with that. All three types. Okay, and let's not forget our picture. So I like to be able to look at the pictures better. So I'm going to do Mount Everest. Okay, the location is in Nepal. Okay, so let's Himalayas, Nepal is the country. And let's choose our picture. Well, I, I like this first one. Looks good. It's viral. Oh, but there's a lot of people in it. I don't want people in my photo. Let's choose that one then. Remember, copy image address. And then background. Choose image. Paste that new one in. Insert. Done. Boom, we have our next answer. Okay, you are going to do the rest of them fully on your own. Remember, Google is your friend. You have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you only have to do seven more by yourself. And I hope that your scavenger hunt looks just as beautiful as these intro slides that we have. Okay, keep up the good work. I'm proud of you. Let's do 